Hello crew members, it's now been a month since the public release of Unity Station, and we're very happy with how our development both game and community wise is going. Since the launch, we've amassed over 11,000 unique player accounts, a number that grows as we speak. Our Discord is active with user submitted content, players reporting issues, and new contributors joining our ranks daily. The launch could not have gone any better than it did. With the success of the launch and the progress we've made since, it's time for an update video. In this developer update, we'll be covering all the features from those included in the initial launch to those we've added since and we'll be touching on our 2021 roadmap towards the end. Let's not waste time. The initial launch build, version 0.4, contained the core of what makes Unity Station, and was a monumental task for the developers. The initial build addressed many gripes players had with Beyond, remastering many of its mechanics. Movement is now a smoother, more enjoyable experience. A clean field of view and smooth lighting system is also now in place. Several quality of life improvements were added. Right clicking on a stack of items now reveals a radial menu giving quick access to several interaction options for each object in the stack. Chat messages now appear above the characters who sent them. All interactable objects, screens, and consoles now have a remastered interface. Shuttles also were completely remade. Unlike Beyond's teleporting shuttles, Unity Station shuttles are operated from the console inside, allowing complete control over the shuttle's flight. With the shuttle rework, mining has changed as well. Asteroids now spawn randomly around the station at round start. Shaft miners needing to approach them with a the shuttle, then performing an EVA, mining the asteroid for its ore, and loading it onto the shuttle. The Syndicate also had their shuttle reworked, now being able to perfectly maneuver it for the ideal assault on the station. Both the cargo and crew transfer shuttle operate similarly, but are automatic. Since the public release, developers have been hard at work. Bug fixes, new features, reworks, and systems have all been worked on. Let's go through some of the biggest things so far. Botany, planting seeds, harvesting produce, consuming the produce, modifying seeds with different genetic stats, and mutagen have all been implemented. Special plants that have beneficial properties can be found both around the station and off the station. Construction, a fully functional construction system is now in place, just like in the old game. Electricity. A functional electricity system is in place as well and is being used by all the components across the station. The groundwork for making this system in depth is also in place. Maps An array of new maps have been created, some of which are remakes of Beyond Maps, while others are new, unique designs. Chemistry Chemistry is also now being worked on. A lot of chemistry recipes are currently being converted to Unity Station. These recipes have needed ingredients, catalysts, regents, effects, min-max temperatures, and more. Our developers are still working diligently on our 0.5 release, in which a host of features will be added. Most of these are already underway in development, while others are soon to be underway. You can follow the progress of these features development through both our Discord and our GitHub. Currently, we are on track for moving to version 0.5 sometime in the latter half of next year, 2021. The feature set that comes with this version will enable release on Steam sometime near then as well. The 0.5 to-do list can be found on our GitHub. For more frequent progress updates, consider joining our Discord, where we have public development channels and issue tracking. 
That's all for this update, though do plan on there being many more to come. Our developers, both new and old, have collectively been working on this project for several years. But truly, none of this would be possible without our Patreon supporters. They enable contributors to dedicate more of their time to the project. Unity Station is a free, open source game, and always will be. If you enjoy the game and like the progress you've seen so far, consider becoming a Patreon supporter.